Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. On today's episode, I'll be showing you a recap of the best clips and photos of January and February 2023. The owner of this vehicle called these mobile mechanics as their engine on their car runs rough, since they added vegetable oil to the engine. The customer said their car was low on engine oil, so they added 5 liters of cooking oil as that's all they had. These mechanics found this mess once they removed the oil pan, so they cleaned it all up and flushed the engine a couple of times. This customer's van was towed in because he apparently had another shop that tried replacing his transmission, but they could not figure it out. So he got it towed to this shop so they could finish the job. The transmission is not bolted to anything. There's no bolts. Whoever did it, cut the transmission lines, cut the exhaust. This, there's a fuel line over here that looks like it might be broken. This person's vehicle was off to the scrapyard after it was found to be unsafe to drive. And this is how the rear cross member was held together. Turn off. Then we got some piping. We got a exhaust clamp. Then we come over here. I don't know what these are. <laughs> and this customer came in as they still have a coolant leak after they tried fixing it themselves. That's silicone, a plastic bag, bungee cords, the obvious zip tie, but that's a f***ing stick. This mobile mechanic noticed there was a snake inside of this radiator when he was adding coolant to the radiator. The mechanic left the radiator cap off and the snake made its way out. When this vehicle came in for new tires, the mechanic noticed all of these cigarettes stuffed around the lug nuts in all four corners. Customer states they have washer fluid coming out of their battery. The technician found that somebody had rooted their washer hose through the battery vent hole on the other side. The customer of this vehicle brought it in as they said they've tried to fix a U-joint on their drive shaft, but still have a bad vibration while driving. Customer states it's hard to turn the steering wheel. Hmm. Oh, here we go. And this customer came in as the airbag light is on. The technician found this scarf that was tied to the steering wheel and wrapped around the clock spring, causing it to tangle on turns and create static that interfered with the clock spring. Customer states four-wheel drive isn't working. The customer just bought this truck and did not realize he bought a truck that is only two-wheel drive. And this customer came in as they can hear a grinding noise and see sparks underneath their car while driving. The technician said this customer's car is so low that the exhaust and fuel tank drags on the ground. The shop recommended to the customer to bring their car back to stock height and get a new exhaust, but the customer declined all repairs. The owner of this truck had her truck vandalized after her husband found out about her affair. The technician said the customer's insurance company rode off the vehicle, and he mentioned all the seats and infotainment screen were also damaged, and the fuel tank was filled with coolant. This customer's complaint was that their truck seemed sluggish, and they think it's a transmission issue, and this is exactly how it drove to the shop. Customer states volume is maxed out but still sounds low. The technician found out that the customer installed some aftermarket speakers in the front doors, but never wired them in and also had cut the connectors. The speakers were also only held up by one screw because the window glass was in the way. Customer states they have an oil leak. The technician found that the customer had installed a half inch bolt for the exhaust manifold, which is too big and went through an oil passage in the cylinder head. When this vehicle came in for a service, the customer also wanted the shop to look at his broken door locks, as he said he's had to put chain around the door handles as he was robbed a month ago. Customer states when he closed the sliding door, it sounds like a cow. <coughs> customer states engine light comes on at times and sounds like a Star Wars speeder on acceleration. And this vehicle only came in as a customer said the power steering was not working. The technician found no issues with the power steering, but he noticed this, which the customer did not mention anything about. These mechanics were pretty surprised on what the customer made to try and prevent another catalytic converter being stolen off of his vehicle. Customer states. Vibration and drive line.
The shop wasn't informed on how this happened, however, they think this Jeep was left in four-wheel drive while being flat towed. Customer states the car won't accelerate and the check engine light is on. When the technician asks about this, the customer said he saw this on a Prius form on how to do a DIY K&N filter upgrade using ATF. Customer came in for service unrelated to this, actually for body damage, but um, I don't think that will work. Customer states their car sounds like a violin finding key when driving. This hybrid vehicle was brought in as there's multiple warner lights on the dash after the customer apparently had an exhaust shop do some exhaust work on his vehicle. The technician discovered whoever removed the old exhaust ended up cutting the high voltage cables for the hybrid system. And here's a photo of the damage that was done to the high voltage cables. Customer states right turn signal won't stay engaged. Customer states, fuel leak. And this vehicle came in as the customer is having some electrical issues and he's tried fixing it himself. The technician found that the customer had 30 amp fuses installed in every spot. Customer states they installed a used engine and their vehicle won't start, so they installed a new ECM and it still doesn't start. How the f is this guy gonna see anything? Customer states they have a water leak and fan is wet under here. I see the water coming in from the back all over here until we get to right about here where I go back and find this piece of electrical tape covering that. We called the customer, said it was bullet holes. Customer states they have a fuel leak from the rear differential. The customer just installed an auxiliary fuel tank and had it connected to the vent hose on the rear differential instead of the fuel tank. When this vehicle came in for a service, the technician noticed an awful smell inside of this car and a rotted pumpkin on the back seat. This customer came in to get an alignment as they said they just installed a lift kit on their vehicle to fit their 28 inch wheels. Welded that plate on the strut. The bolts are welded into the knuckle and they said they wanted an alignment. And this vehicle was towed in as the engine shut off while they were driving. The customer had an oil leak and tried fixing it with duct tape, but all the oil leaked out over time. This customer came in as they have an oil leak on their truck. The technician found that it still had the factory oil filter on this vehicle, which is a 2018 model. When this vehicle was in for an oil change, the technician noticed there was an awful smell inside of this car, which he found a portable toilet in the back. Customer states the used vehicle they just bought has a bad shake in the front end. Customer states he hears a noise after he installed new lug nuts. The technician said all four wheels had just one OEM lug nut, which kept the wheels from falling off. Great job, customer. And this customer came in as their engine is noisy. The technician found that the customer used a block of wood where their hydraulic tensioner for the timing chain should be. Customer states his transfer case is on fire and stopped working. The mechanic said he thinks there was no fluid in the transfer case, which caused the shift fork to weld itself to a bearing, which led to this damage done to the transfer case. And this customer came in as they said the 120 volt plug in the rear does not work. Customer states has parasitic drawn battery and they just replaced it. The technician found the issue to be with the sound system that the customer installed themselves, which he disconnected and affixed the issue. When this vehicle arrived for an oil change, the customer said the shift cable is broken, so he's been putting a rock on the brake pedal and climbs underneath the vehicle and puts it into gear while it's running. This vehicle was towed in after the customer said they hit a rock on the highway and kept driving until their vehicle shut off. The customer said they added some oil to the engine, but it still didn't start so it was towed to the shop. Customer states they installed new brakes but the brake pedal still goes to the floor. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, yes. 
customer states he shot a hole in his floorboard to see if there was any bullets in his gun. And this customer came in to get a new headlight bulb installed as they tried removing their headlight with a sawzall and still could not remove the headlight. The owner of this truck just had a new engine installed and after two weeks it had the turbo replaced twice. Long story short, this shop found whoever rebuilt the engine left a roll of electrical tape in the oil pan that got stuck in the oil pickup tube and would starve the turbo of oil. The technician also mentioned the engine ran fine before and after. And this vehicle was towed in as the customer said their car randomly shut off and there was no warning. Customer states they have an exhaust manifold leaking. The customer never mentioned that they tried fixing it themselves with a welder. Customer states they have a brake noise from the rear. The technician found that the customer installed wheel spacers on the rear, but installed them behind the brake drums, which caused only half of the brake shoes to be applied to the inside of the brake drum. This customer came in as a sound system they recently installed no longer works. The technician found that the power cable for the amplifier was burnt in multiple spots, as the customer had rooted it right on top of the exhaust. And this customer's vehicle was towed in as they said their vehicle will no longer move after they slammed it in reverse at 70 miles per hour, as they did not want to hit a deer. In doing so, the customer had ruined the front differential and transmission. When this vehicle was in for a service, the technician noticed this large painting that was underneath this F-250. What if I told you that on the back of this truck was a picture on the tailgate of the truck with a painted tailgate with the truck with the painted tailgate? If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. And you can submit clips that you filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.